I think there are there are lawyers out there, like I said, uh, that are really in it because they they believe in it. You know, they, the people who work for the DA's office, they're not making any money, and they believe in it. Did the those who were conflicted with the law reach out to the practice? Did they write letters and say, you know, I've been practicing for ten years and I have these same issues? I'm sure they did. I don't think I got those letters. Mostly, I got letters from prisoners. Uh, <laughs> Now, no, honestly, I got letters from prisoners saying, would you defend me? <laughs> so, there's a reason they were in prison. What's the relationship between dark side that represents corporations and dark side that represents, you know, guilty murderers? There's so little good in the world anymore. I just got back from Africa and India. And do you see, when I went to, I went to Congo and I, and I saw, you know, six million people were killed. People don't know this number. I mean, people lose, they think of the Darfur number, yeah. but it's, it's actually, and we think of six million as a Jewish number, it's also a Congolese number. That's right. And you see, you know, 500,000 women raped. Uh, you see the utter starvation in uh, India. You see people living in slums, and you see uh, the, the, the corruption of the world, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, you know, we, we're, I, I, I feel like, I'm, I'm, hanging, I'm hanging on for the goodness of the world, right? And I see you people here tonight, and you don't have to be here. You know, and, and, or my mom, who opened a safe house in Congo for women who are raped, you know, in the middle of uh, nothing. So, you know, it, it's incredible to see the goodness, and, and I, I'm linking that with this place because, you know, um, there's a certain faction of people out there that, who want to change the world and who want it to be a better place. And, and I don't say that cavalierly, I say that because we need it. And I think that also ties into this. You know, there was a time when this man and this firm wanted to, to do something good in the world and maybe make a change um, when it's, it's, it's seemingly impossible at times. I honestly never became uh, an actor to be famous or to be rich. It was never, never something that I desired. Um, it was always because I really do love it, and I still love it. You know, it's like an arithmetic problem for me. And I'm just, I, I really consider myself an artist. And that makes me happy. Most of the time, whatever role I'm doing, I'm working something out, you hmm. know, psychologically. And I, I'm always fascinated by psychology. And I think that I, I put that into my work as much as I can because I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure something out here, you know, on a fundamental level as a person and as an artist. And so the roles that I'm attracted to, I'm still trying to work it out. And so you'll see that in my choices, you know, and some of those are dark choices. So you're saying that it's possible that be being an actor is another way of, of dealing with therapy? It's the best way, absolute best way. Because you know why? I get to be so many different people in one lifetime. And that's the best life you could ever have.